So we have a 240p video which is to be upscaled because this video size is very small. As you can see, the video size is about 240p, which is very small. The videos looks choppy, but let us upscale. The first method uses the normal Premiere Pro application. So first we need to open the Premiere Pro application. You need to make a new project if there is isn't. So let us import a video. So here is that video. This video is just 240p. But let us upscale to 4k. So normally what people do is that they uh, do it with the seeking settings. So here we can upscale to 4k which is 3840 by 2160. What normal people do is that they just upscale it like this. But this is not a real 4K. This is just a simple upscaling. But we need a good quality 4K. The first method uses the Premiere Pro itself. So that we need a plugin called Instant 4K. First, you need to reset the scaling. This is the 240p video in a 4k frame first we need to go to the effects tab then search for instant 4k now you can see the instant 4k just drag it to the video and in the here section you can see instant 4k by red gen now this is a paid software in the later part of the video i will give some free softwares too then select just the 4k okay that's it in this we can we need to adjust the sharpness or quality etc. That's your personal choice. However, I am not touching it. Just say it in the default section. Then we need to export the video. In the video settings, you can see the uh, 4K resolution here. That is 3840 by 2160. We can just export it. Here's the side by side comparison of the instant 4K and the original 240p video to give you a better idea. So here's the exported video and this is the original video. The exported video is exported using Adobe Premiere Pro using a plugin called Instant 4K by Red Giant. Now let's compare both. This is the original video. And this is the upscaled video. There is a slight difference but I don't think it is too much. I don't think it is real 4K. Let's close this. The next method uses Adobe After Effects. So let us open Adobe After Effects. Okay, let's import it. Uh, first we need to uh, create a new composition. Okay, here's the new composition. Then we need to edit the composition. Let's make it 4K again. Okay. Now the, under the effects tab, we need to search for an effect called Detail Preserving Upscale. Okay, here is it. Now let's try going to the top of the video. In that, uh, we can see a scale factor 
we need just to increase it so, so that fill it the uh, 4k frame this we can in increase the noise function or detail function that is your choice then we can export it now here's the comparison between the original 240p video and the after effects upscaled 4k video So here's the After Effects rendered 4K video. Now let's open it. Seems there's an improvement but uh, not as good as true 4K. So let's uh, let's jump to the next step. The next step is uh, we need to go to the software, the graphics software of the PC. In this case, we are using the AMD Radeon software. If you are using NVIDIA and or Intel, uh, you need to use the respective softwares. In this, uh, we can see an option called uh, GPU scaling. We need to just turn on it. Okay, that's turned on. Then we need to go to video section. There are so many options available. I am just selecting the vivid option because it gives the best picture quality. And there is also the graphics section. Uh, then we can uh, turn on radio image sharpening etc. There is also anti aliasing etc. This is main for games but uh, in this case we can use it for the videos. Then what we need to do is open the video. Now this is the uh, standard 240p video uh, or the original footage. Then we need to use some software to record the screen of this video. So I am currently recording this screen. So after the recording is completed, the video will look nice on other monitors with no uh, GPU scaling or AI upscaling. Because in this PC we have GPU upscaling, but in some monitors, TVs etc, there is no upscaling technique. So we are giving a little boost to the quality. The next thing we can do is the best option and this is called the Topaz Video Enhance AI. This software will drastically improve the quality of the original 240p footage. Let's open the software. Just click to open the file. Uh, this is the After Effects uh, upscaled video. This is the original video. This is the Red Giant uh, Instant 4K upscaled video. Let's click the original video itself. Then we can see so many options here. This is the high quality option video. Since the video is shot in a video camera and not film, I am selecting this option. But if this video is shot in film, uh, you can see the low quality option because the low quality option they analyze uh, so many grains of the video there are less grains in this video so i'm selecting the first option then uh, we can disable this so there is no cropping done i'm just selecting 4k ultra hd click here to start the video encoding i think to notice is that this software is a very gpu hungry and cpu hungry and this will take a long long time for example this 30 f 30 second video takes around one and a half hour to process so let's wait so as you can see this is the topaz video enhanced AI 4k video now this video is looking much better than all the upscaling techniques we used before for example here's the original video The video looks choppy right, then here is the Premiere Pro Red Giant 4K video. This looks better but not much good as this last one. Then here is the After Effects Detail Preserving Upscale video. By the way the video is lagging a bit because of this uh, 30 second video is uh, taking about 21 GB of space. That's the only problem. When, then we can just uh, encode it in Adobe Media Encoder or Premiere Pro etc. And this is the final 4K video created by Topaz Video Enhance AI. I think in my testing, the Topaz Video Enhance AI gave the best result. Uh, because it uh, analyzes the video. 
the all the other methods just uh, uh, just add some extra pixels so that they doesn't look much worse but the topaz video enhances ai uses artificial intelligence and deep learning to analyze the whole video and then create a new 4k video out of it that's why this is the best option available but a thing to notice is that the topaz video enhances ai is not free will it will cost you about 200 dollars to purchase and here's the comparison between the original video and the topaz video enhanced ai 4k video But the less good, the Premiere Pro enhancing using the Red Giant 4K also cost you, because the instant 4K plugin for Premiere Pro costs around hundred dollars, and this Topaz video enhancer here costs two hundred dollars. The screen recording option is free, but uh, the quality is not as much. And here's the original video. The Adobe After Effects. Detail presenting option is also free if you have already have the Adobe After Effects, but I don't think that gives a good quality. For in my opinion, if you don't have money, I will prefer After Effects Detail Preserving Upscale. But if you have some money to spend, you can definitely consider buying Topaz Video Enhancer because it gives the best quality. Okay, the video is looking sharp, but as you can see, the colors are a little washed out. To fix this, we need to again go to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we can just select the Topaz Video Enhanced AI 4K video we just encoded. Then under the effects tab, we need to go to an a plugin called Lumetri Color. This is an inbuilt plugin of the Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's drag onto the top of the video, and we can do some color grading. In this case, I am just improving the temperature. I am also tweaking some other options such as vibrance, contrast, etc. This will give it a cinematic look. As a last step, I am also adding a cinema frame. For that, I am selecting uh, 1640 as the vertical resolution and the horizontal resolution is still 3840. This will give a wide screen effect. Now let's export this video. As you can see, here's the upscaled video and then later color graded using the Premiere Pro software. This look much better than the original 240p video. I think first you need to upscale the video using Topaz Video Enhancer AI and then color grade it using the Premiere Pro. So these two, two softwares will give the best results. And here's the final comparison of the old videos. Okay, guys, that's it for. Uh, look, quick look at the all upscaling methods used here. I think the Topaz Video Enhanced AI gives the best results. After the Premiere Pro color grading, it is the best out of you can get now. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel for awesome videos like this.